Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe you responded. And I can't believe I heard your voice. It's like... <laughs> oh my gosh. I've just been like... I watch you all the time on Insta. And so just to hear your voice and you reply just like that has just made my day. Thank you so much. My cheekbones are hurting. Honestly, when I heard this message, I my, I welled up. I welled up and I was just like, oh my God. You, you never know the impact that you have on people as you're just doing you as you're just doing things that come naturally to you and I've had so many conversations this week based on situations that have maybe happened over the last few years and one thing that as I've said to a few people that I've explained the situation about is that there are some people that dislike you for the same reason that people love you for and the only thing that you have to do and the only responsibility that you have And the best thing you can do for yourself is be you. Be you and be happy. If being you makes you happy and the way you act and the way you are makes you, just fills your heart with joy and makes you feel happy, be that. Because when you try and be someone else and then people don't like you and then you're like, I wasn't even being myself. (laughs) But when you're genuinely you and then you get people that just respond to you in such a loving way and just appreciate what you do and show you so much love. What what more could you ask for? Let me start. Let's just get started because I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling the feels. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the So Flipping Extra podcast, a platform for me to express, explore, and connect and be so flipping extra. Why I hear you ask? Well, because that's what brings me joy. And without further ado, let's get into the rest of the podcast because we're feeling the vibes and it's all good feeling vibes, baby. <laughs> express explore connect I went into this last week as well that's what it's all about those kind of connections that I get to make that have people feeling that type of way means so much to me and the connection comes back to me like I feel that love like as much as I do these things and I'm I'm the way I am so that I can make somebody feel good that makes me feel so good That message made me feel so good. And I played it to a few, a few people, like my peeps that were around me last week. I was like, you have to listen to this message. And they were just beaming from ear to ear. They was like, oh my God, that is beautiful. Like, that is amazing. To receive a message like that is just so beautiful. And (laughs) my friend Nye, just Friday gone, she was with me and I played it to her. I said, Nye, listen to this. So she's holding the phone, she's listening. She's like, that is amazing. And she's like, do you know what's even more amazing? I'm so proud of you because you've sent the form. So over the last few weeks, we've really been working on our businesses. And for me, especially, it's like having a system in place when people want to have bookings and they want to get a custom order or alterations, I have them fill out the booking form. So she was just proud to see that I had sent this booking form to the client. And as well as like, I'd had this response with her. She said, you like, literally it was like, yeah, no problem. Here's a booking form, sent it straight away. And she's like, I'm so proud of you because it shows growth. Like, yeah, this part has happened. That's beautiful. But this for you, love it for you. And I was just like, ah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. we just out here winning and feeling good and making other people feel good like what more can I ask for <laughs> so yeah I wanted to really just share that and also just elaborate on the message of just be you and love being you so yeah anyway like I said just really wanted to share that with you guys and I would love to hear your amazing stories if you if any of you like have any amazing stories of good vibe things that have happened I like that good good vibe good vibe stories that have happened to you this week definitely share them with me because I'd like to share it with everyone else because I can't just be the only one out here that's getting good vibes like I want I want you lot to share yours with me as well some other great news stories that have happened this week are I've secured I think three bookings for this the you know then over the next couple months I think I've got for July I've got three bookings like speaking bookings well speaking and workshops 
And then I haven't got any in August. I've got makeup clients booked for August, a couple of makeups. And then September, I have two workshops booked. Yeah, two workshops booked for September, which is really good because I've been really stressed this year, you know, the beginning of this year. It's been, I really feel like it's been a slow year and it's caused me a lot of anxiety and pain. By pain, I guess the pain is just in my heart. (laughs) The pain is in my heart and in my ego because I was so caught up on how great I was doing last year, how great it was. I was, I felt like I was, I was hot. I was hot last year. Everyone wanted a piece of Danny, innit? And this year it feels like I've cooled down. And I had I had to accept that. And yeah, well, no, I had to accept that that's where I was and shift. If anyone's read the book, Who Moved My Cheese? It's about Ham and Ha, I think that's their names, but these, it's like you have the mice and you have the people. And every day they get up, they get dressed for work and they go to where the cheese is. And the cheese is always in the same place. And they're comfortable. They go, they sit, they, you know, the people, they're just chilling, eating the cheese, spend their day there. At the end of the day, they go back to their house, get ready for bed. Same routine, same routine. Whereas the mice would go to the cheese every day, but they were examining. And the mice noticed that the cheese was getting smaller and smaller. It was, it was disappearing. Whereas Ham and Ha, they never, Ham and Ha, the, the humans, they never noticed it because they were just too, they were in their thing. They were just comfortable. Like, they was like, oh yeah, cheese is here, let's eat and bounce. So one day, the mice and the humans, Ham and Ha, get to the cheese and the cheese is gone. There's no cheese. And Ham and Ha walk in and they're like, raw. But who moved the cheese though? The cheese was here yesterday. Where has the cheese gone? And they're, they're, they're flubbergasted. They're holding their heads like, oh my God, what are we going to do? The cheese has moved. And they sit down and they just are like, I don't understand. Whereas the mice were like, swear, we knew this was going to happen, innit? So they just was like, boom, we're off. And they went off looking for the cheese. And because they're in a big maze as well. So the ma- the trip to the cheese through this maze was always the same journey. So now the mice, they're together, working together. They're looking for the cheese. They find the cheese. Now, while they're there with the new cheese, Ham and Ha are still, every day they're still getting up and going to the cheese. And the cheese ain't there. So they're starting to look, they're starting to waste away because they, one, they're not eating anything. And then they're depressed because the cheese is just not there anymore. And it's, it's supposed to be here. Who moved the cheese? Anyway, eventually one of the guys is like, I think we need to go and look for the cheese, you know. And the other one was like, but the cheese is supposed to be here. Why are we moving and looking for it somewhere else? And there's so much more to the story. Eventually they do go and look for the cheese somewhere else. I think, I believe. Listen, you can either read the book. It's a small, quick book. Or you can actually watch the video on YouTube. Great video. I'm going to add it to the show notes. So you, you lot have the link. And let me know when you watch it. But basically, every time I think of that situation, I'm like, who moved my cheese? Someone's moved my cheese. Someone, my money is somewhere and I need to go find it. So I can't keep sitting back waiting for someone to book me. Babes, you're not, maybe you're just not hot as you was. I am, I am, I'm hot. But it's a different type of hot. But go find the cheese. Someone's got your cheese, baby. Someone's got your cheese. Someone's got your money. Someone's got your, your next workshop. Someone's got your next big brand deal. Someone's got, it's out there. It's out there and you just have to go find it. Not all the time it's going to come to you. Not all the time it's going to be in the same place. Not all the time it's the same email that that they're going to respond to. Sometimes you've got to change the way you word it. Sometimes you've got to change the people that you're trying to work with. Maybe it's not that type of group that I'm working with. Maybe actually, how about I step out of my comfort zone and actually try and work with them? They're bigger. And maybe I thought I've been playing myself too small. And I thought, I can't work with them. So I'm going to just keep myself on, on, on this lower level because that one's too high. How about I try? And then how about I try again? And then how about in trying for that? I actually tried for that one as well. You just don't know. That was, that was note to self. Oh God, I feel a bit emotional. And yeah, I had to, I had to go find the cheese because the funds weren't funding, guys. Like, honestly... Last month, I didn't even know if I was still going to be in my studio. 
E. It's just emotions taking me over. I didn't know if I was still going to have my studio. I thought I was going to get kicked out of my studio because I did. I wasn't making enough money. And I don't even know how I did it. I honestly don't know. But I made enough to be okay. I made enough for them to say, okay, cool. I think anyway, we can learn tomorrow. <laughs> it's the first of the month. Um, well, I think I made enough for them because they didn't want to get rid of me, but I just weren't making, I haven't been making enough. And that's even hard for me to say because on you lot see me and everyone's like, you're doing so well. And I feel like such a fraud when people say that to me because I'm like, I don't want to be negative and be like, well, actually, can't even pay my fucking bills. But the reality is that I am doing good. I'm always good. If anyone says to me, how are you doing? I'm f- fucking amazing. Oh, how are you? I don't want to sit there and talk about what's not going great because I'm, ch- I'm going to chase the cheese. It's always going to be amazing. I'm always going to be amazing. And yeah, it might just feel like I'm just burying my head in the sand, but everyone's going through their shit. And this is what we need to realise. Everyone, everyone has their own struggles that they're dealing with, their own secret struggles that they're dealing with. And this is why you just got to be nice because you don't know, you just don't know what people are going through. And yeah, um, have them people, always definitely have them people that you can talk to, but you don't have to talk to everybody. I have people that, you know, help me get through those moments of, like, I'm losing my shit today. But not everyone needs to know. Not everyone needs to know. I'm saying that as I'm saying this on a podcast, but that's because I've dealt with that. And also, I kind of feel like I tell you guys a lot of things because I I also want you to know that you're not on your own because I'm going to get... I There are certain things that I say and the amount of people that are like, oh, my God, I felt like you were talking to me. I'm going through the same thing. But a lot of the time, we're not strong enough to talk about it and we're not confident enough to, to, to speak about it because we don't want people to judge us. I don't want people to judge me and be like, oh, my God, like, it's not even making any money. <laughs> But the reality of it is that a lot of people are struggling and it doesn't matter what I'm going through. My vibe is vibing always. <laughs> That's one thing they can't take away from me. It's my vibe. Will I regret putting this out? Will I regret saying this? I don't know. Probably not. I say a lot of worse shit. But I do hope that the fact that I have shared that, it it helps someone. Whether it's the book or just you knowing that you're not on your own. And babes... We're going to, we're going to be amazing anyway. We're going to get through this, but go, go, just have your people, just have your, your crew them, your, your Cody's, your girlies, your man them, whatever it is that you're like, listen, mate, or listen, babe, your girl's struggling a little bit. So yeah, that's just that. That's all I have to say on that. Well, we can move on swiftly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you guys follow me on my, on Instagram, you know, I'm a gym girly now. And basically, I'm getting fit. However, my fitness might be, it might be halted for a little bit. And like, I'm stressed out. <laughs> so yesterday, I rode a line bike for the first time. And it was so much fun. I, ow, it's itching my ear. Um, it's probably wax. I, I, so I rode a line bike for the first time. It was so much fun. And I was loving it. And I was riding, I was riding with my friend for a little bit of the way. And then we said our goodbyes and I went on and I was like, boom, I'm going to go, I'm going to go meet my friend in the park. I'm riding, 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 a little bit on the road, a little bit on the pavement. Because the bike is, it takes a while of getting used to and it's really heavy. I bust the corner, right? And as I turned the corner, I think there were people there. So I kind of shuffled a little bit and lost my balance. So I put my foot down just so that I could stop. And, you know, I stopped to put my foot down, but I lost my foot in and fell to the floor so obviously as I fell to the floor the bikes fell on me and my glasses that were on top of my head have fallen down over my face you know when they were all crooked on your face the woman who was running who I was also trying to turn before she turned not to beat her like it was a race but maybe it was a little bit but I just also didn't want to hit her and I didn't want to slow down because I just didn't want to slow down the bike she helped me up thank goodness and the thing is when I fall I'm like or I have a, you know, something happens. I'm like, I'm okay. So I'm now 
her on the floor. She's helping me up. I'm like, I'm okay. I'm okay. Looking around like for anyone else. Because basically the road is right there. So, <laughs> so, so there's people in their cars that are just, I'm falling over right next to the cars. And so I'm also letting them know just in case they gave a shit that I'm okay. So I'm like, I'm okay. I'm okay to the cars. They probably thought, shame guy. Like I was okay. My ego wasn't too, too okay. Like it was a little bit embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then my bag, I had my bag in the front that toppled out as well. And then even just trying to get up and lift the bike up. Thank goodness that woman was there because I was weak as shit. As soon as I got up, I was like, I fucked up my ankle. My ankle was mashed up. It, on, on contact, my ankle was mashed up. But I couldn't think about it. I, I just had to leave, innit? I just had to go. So hop back on my bike. Thank goodness that shit is electrical or half electric because that helped. Um, and I got to the park and then... Um, What's it? I said to my friend, I just fucking fell off a line bike. <laughs> my first time on a line bike and I fell. I would get on it again. I will get back on my bike or a line bike because that, that shit was fun. If you haven't been on a line bike, definitely do it. But just be careful, I guess. That's, that's the thing. We can't let things hold us back. What's that got to do with the gym? Oh yeah, here we go, back on track. So obviously now I've mashed up my ankle. I went to hospital today because the swelling was swollen i've never seen anything so big <laughs> well it depends in what capacity jokes uh so yeah it was massive <clears throat> that's what she said no honestly get real get get with it girl i went to urgent care and they gave me an x-ray and they said it's not fractured i i'm happy to tell you guys i'm happy to report it's not fractured it's not broken it's just yeah really really bad swelling and elevate it put cold press on it and all that good stuff so this is the problem though i'll have a gym date with Caden on tuesday because it's his birthday i've got to get to the gym on tuesday so i'm just gonna go gym and we're gonna do abs so yeah i'll do abs and upper body in it no i can't be growing the glutes until my leg is better i'm gonna take tomorrow off because i think that's the responsible thing to do but i think by tuesday i'll be fine i just and whereas last week i literally went gym every single day and that's also the other thing that i want to say i'm really proud of myself that i've made the commitment to do gym go ham or go hard or go home and i've been doing it so that's why i'm a little disappointed because obviously this is going to slow me down but health before a fat booty i guess i guess well mm-hmm, fat booty but obviously I'm just, I'm trying to look like a painting for carnival. I'm not even going to lie. Guys, I'm wearing a carnival costume this year. And it's going to be, all I'm going to let you lot know is, I think, yeah, it's going to be a thong. It's going to be a thong. So, like, ah! and then the day after carnival, I'm turning 42. I'm going to be 42 in a banging costume with my ass out on the street. Like, I think it's, I think it's something to celebrate. I need, I need the, the squats to be squatting. So yeah, I need to, I can't, can't give up. So yeah, next. I actually think this is going to be a short episode um, this week again, guys, because I, I am really tired at the moment. I'm recording this podcast a lot later than I usually do. And also I think I'm going to take a break. So since I started the podcast, I haven't, I'm still in season one. And I do want to take a bit of a break just to make sure, just to see how I'm doing and how I'm going. And I'm when by break, I'm thinking it could just be a week. Um, yeah, just a, a little quick week off just so I can figure out some things. I want to make sure my process is processing because like my last two episodes, I really didn't do the content around them to push it. So through the throughout the week, I wasn't doing the sound bites. And that's also part of the consistency. Yeah, it's well and good sitting on here, recording, editing and posting it out. But if I'm not doing the extra work, which is the sound bites, which are very easy to do, I'm missing a trick and no one's hearing them. Like the, the listens that I got for last week's one were really, really low and I didn't even promote it. I didn't promote it. So I know exactly why. So I think over the next couple of weeks, I'll obviously promote this one because it's a new episode. I'll also promote the last couple that I've done. And just like, yeah, entice people that if you haven't listened, definitely go back and listen. And yeah, I'd love it if you guys could even just help me promote it. If you really have been enjoying, this is my 40, this is going to be episode number 41. So if you have been enjoying the So Flipping Extra podcast, help me. 
That's all I ask is just help promote it. Um, post on your stories that you listen to it and maybe something that you enjoyed about it. And I think something that we don't do enough, Americans are really good at this, asking for what they want. Us British people, I feel like we're like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to bother anyone. Or maybe, and maybe it's just me. I don't want to bother anyone. Like I'm not really good at asking for help and support in reality anyway, which is probably sometimes why I also struggle. But if you are enjoying it, it is like for me, why wouldn't I promote something that I've spent time on? I've en- I enjoy, I'm sitting here speaking for what, sometimes half an hour. Then I'm spending another hour editing and uploading and I pay the landing page or the page that I upload on, I pay. So if I'm paying, why am I not promoting my thing? Because I'm not getting paid to do a podcast. I'm doing it all on my own. It's my money. So when I don't have money for other things, I'm not getting the money to do it. So I need to think about that and be like, be smart, little girl. Like, what are you doing? You have to promote your thing because you're not getting paid. And also because I've also, I was saying this in last week's episode, I've introduced a subscription, which again, will help me support the podcast. Basically it's in dollars. So I think it's $4, which is about three pound for the subscription, a little bit over three pound a month for, to be a subscriber. Well, what that is gonna be, it's gonna be extra content as well. Again, I've got a subscription. I haven't done anything with it, but I want people to, to, be getting something from that. So I can't expect people to be paying for th- for that. And I haven't figured that out yet. So again, this time off, whether it is a week or two will also allow me to get that sorted and get that right as well. So you won't see me or you won't hear me, I should say next week. But if you've got any episodes to catch up on, definitely do that. And then when I come back, we'll be even frigging better, guys. Like if you've enjoyed this, it's good. I'm going to be even wickeder, good wicked when I come back after my break. (laughs) So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. The last thing I want to actually leave you with, my words, my words of the week. I've been loving my words of the week. I feel like Rev Run. But people will judge you based on where they see you. And this has absolutely nothing to do with who you really are. You know who you are. You know what you're capable of, but not everyone does. And if they've been around you and they've seen you producing small things, they're going to keep you at that level. But it's not for them to see how big you are. It's for you to show people how big you are. And if you feel that you're around people that don't allow you to grow, you have to change your pot. It's not going to grow to its best capacity if it's kept in a small pot holder. The plant can't grow like a, a tree can't grow if it's kept in a pot. You have to then move it out into the wild where there's so much more space and it can get the sunlight it needs. It can get the love it needs. It, can, it can't stay in the small space. It can't stay in the house anymore. It can't even stay in the garden after a while. You might need to dig that out and put it into a field where it belongs so everyone can see it and everyone can appreciate it. And if this is you and you feel that you are just feeling suffocated and people are, they're just over you like, oh yeah, no, oh yeah, your little business, they're keeping you small and you might have big dreams inside you and they might be keeping you so small that you are not even aware of your own capacity. So sometimes you have to change your surrounding. You have to think big, you have to act big and you have to just be big. As big as you know you are capable of being, be that and people will either love you for it or they will hate you for it. They might not, you've changed. Thank you. You've changed. Thank you for noticing. That's all your response needs to be. Thank you for noticing. I have changed. Woo, woo, woo. And with that said, we've reached the end of this week's podcast. And we've reached the end of this season. (laughs) What a way to finish. Why am I ever getting emotional? Oh my God, I'm coming back in a few weeks, silly moose. (laughs) I love you guys. Listen, peace out, A-Town down, West Side is the best side. Do I believe it? I don't know. But what I do know and what I do believe is wherever I'm at, the vibe's at. And so, because you guys are here with me, wherever we're at, the vibe's at. The vibe is always vibing. One thing we know for sure is we're always going to bring the vibe because we are the vibe. We're going to be the vibe and we're going to spread good vibes only. I love you guys and I'll see you in a few weeks. Bye. (laughs) 